A very good morning, student. This is the EVS class for standard third. We were doing chapter nine, cooking food. This is the part two. In this part, we will learn ways of cooking food, hitting sources, and steps of making chapatis. Watch the video carefully and enjoy. Now we will learn different ways of cooking. We cook food in many ways. So the first way is roasting. Cooking food directly over fire or in an oven is called roasting. Chapatis, popcorn. Paneer tikka are cooked this way. This is a healthy way of cooking as it does not use oil. Now let us learn to make a chapati. Chapati is an essential Indian flour bread made with whole wheat flour. So for making chapati, you need some wheat flour in a deep bowl. Then make a hole in the middle and add some water. Mix it well by hand, kneading it into a dough. Now in third step, rub a little oil or ghee on your palm and knead the dough into small balls. After this, use a rolling pin. Roll out the dough ball into a thin circular patty. Now heat the griddle and put the patty on it to cook. Turn the patty on the other side when one side is slightly brown. Your chapati is ready for eating. Let's move to a second way of cooking. Deep frying. Some food items are cooked by frying in oil. This needs a wide but deep vessel called a wok or kadai. Puris, pakodas, samosas, and French fries are some fried food. Next method is steaming. Idli, dhoklas, rice and momos are cooked by steaming. Now next step is method is boiling. When solid food is heated in water, bubbles of hot air move from the bottom to the surface. This process of cooking food is called boiling. And it kills the germs present in raw food. Boiling can be done in any deep pan. Rice, pulses, meat, vegetable curries, potatoes are cooked this way. Tea and coffee are made with boiling water. Even milk is boiled before consumption. Water is also boiled to kill the germs and make it fit for drinking. Next method is baking. The method of baking involves cooking food in dry heat inside an oven. Cakes, pastries, breads, biscuits and cookies are baked inside an oven. And the last way of cooking is shallow frying. When food is cooked in less oil like parathas, dosas, alu tikki, etc. Eating too much fried food is not healthy. So the best way to fry food by shallow frying. Now let us move to our next topic. Hitting sources. Long ago, humans did not know how to cook food. They eat everything raw. Then fire was discovered and humans learned to cook food with the help of fire. A substance born to produce heat is called a fuel. 
people use different types of heating sources to cook food let us look at heating sources so the first one is chulas chulas and tandoor are used in villages to cook food coal and cow dung cakes and dry wood are used as a fuel in them nowadays many houses have gas stove a gas stove uses liquid petroleum gas as a fuel people also use hot plates or an electric heater for cooking this equipments run on electricity solar cookers and gobar gas are used for cooking in some places a solar cooker uses sunlight as a fuel it does not produce smoke so it does not pollute and vomit and it also very safe to use a pressure stove a pressure stove is also used for cooking in some places a pressure stove uses kerosene oil as a fuel we should always remember we are lucky to get good food every day so we must not waste eat now your homework is to complete the given worksheet question number 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 thank you